And now, what I'm going to do, really, really important, is now I'm going to do the, the circle. First of all, I need to find the middle point again. And now I'm going to find it like a cross. I need to find this side middle point and this side middle point. So now I'm going to do the same thing. Trying to find the center point. There and there. To close it there and there. A little bit more. There and there. Perfect. So it's somewhere here. And then this, the other side. There and there. A little bit more. Here and here. So my middle point is over there. What I need to do now with my divider again, I'm going to use like a compass from the smallest side. Hold it steady flat and I'm going to use it from the smallest size a little bit more inside and then now from my middle point I'm going to create a circle and now with my file again now I need to find the way to hold the piece because if I place it like this into the bench peg, don't forget it's not metal. Like this. It's not metal, it's just wax, so it's going to scratch the inside or it's going to create dents and depths, which once we have them in wax, they're gonna come up in metal and then it's not good to have them. And then I need to find a way because every piece is different. Every piece has different angle. So I need to hold with my fingers. Support on my bench peg. And then first I'm going to create a curve. It's good if you unblock once in a while the saw the file, too much wax, and then first I'm going with angle to go all the way just a little bit out of the circle, approximately half of millimeter, but still I'm going to create this angle. So this is going to be my driver as well not to give that much attention after for the circle until I need to finalize it and to make it perfect so roughly till there so because it's different angle so I can see different reflection so this is always good and it's gonna help me to stop bef before I go there and cross the line of my circle If you want it square, you are going to do exactly the same with divider, find the right points and create the square exactly in the middle. Or if you wanted an oval with the stencils, you can find the oval in this way or on the other side. And we still do exactly the same process. So now I have untouched my circle in the middle and my angle is a little bit far for it from it and now what do I do I just from I'm trying to take down the corners and I'm just filing down towards the circle now so I'm gonna start from a point somewhere here somewhere, let's say, in the middle of the ring. From there, I'm gonna start to give all the curves to the circle. So it depends of the circle that you have, the size that you have. 
all those things we're gonna come and fix some differences and the details later but first I need to bring all my movements towards the circle and to make them look nice and even so that's why I start to give first because it's quite obvious now where I have to stop even if I don't give that much attention because most important for me now is just to get rid of the volume over there where the corners were but still all the movements are towards the circle I'm going to do the same thing from the other side as well. Try to get rid of all the corner volume here. And start to make it round, falling my ring. And make it look more even. and all of these things according to the shape that I have on the top of my ring. Now I'm going all the way around the circle and I'm trying to give a better shape to the piece so that I start to realize better the final shape that I'm going to have because till then everything looks a wax volume give it time wax needs time to see the final results Now I start slowly, slowly, I'm getting closer to the circle with care moves and really, really careful because not even the tiny wrong file am I. Go inside, which I don't want to. And then I'm doing the same thing from the other side. I start to take these bits now slowly, slowly, these kind of corners. Because if you see it from the top, I want it to look nice and even according to the circle. And I'm going to do the same from this side carefully check that I don't cross the line <sighs> just on the line here I need to be careful over there in the future but still if you check it from the side still has lots of volume up here. It's all about design now as well, but normally doesn't come with that volume, so I need to file it down. And I'm gonna give this sides as well, filing.
and now it's all about playing a game with the volume and trying to see which bits you don't like them sometimes it's all about design as well still really really careful trying not to touch the top of the circle the side of the circles but still I need to work close to it now starts to look nicer and I'm going to give curve into the square side of my band to make it look a little bit more even with the rest when I'm looking at it I want to look exactly the same here it's more volume so here I need to get rid of a little bit more see the way that I use the file and the movements that it take and now it's all about detail and make it look perfect and equal all the sides Just be patient and we're getting there. It's all about understanding the volume and give it time, the first three, four pieces. And then after the fourth, fifth one, everything is going to be really really easy so you're going to understand more of the material and the, the shape that we're going to work with it's quite volume here now and we're getting soon there and then once I finish the filing, I'm going to smooth it with sandpaper or also you can use steel wool and then it's ready for casting. Now I'm just going to give a perfect circle shape on my circle scribe. And then I'm just a little bit with fine sandpaper, which I'm going to wrap on my file i want it tight and the flat side i'm going to clean my top from the scratches 
because every single scratch is gonna come up in metal after. And then I'm going to keep the center point and you can cast it plain. We can make it smooth better because even these tiny scratches are gonna come up, but I would like it a little bit rough. And I'm going to create a vinyl record. And so I'm going to open my divider slowly, slowly, and I'm gonna start to make gonna open it a little bit more and I'm going to create loads of circles Awesome. And now I'm just going to add the stylus. And then I'm going to smooth it with a really fine sandpaper. All the way around. I just need to a good rubbing. Now, because it's full of curves, I'm just using some paper on my fingers because I want the angles and everything. So this is gonna help to smooth every single facet and to make it look equal. Also steel wool my helps or woman ties. And we wrap it on our fingers and we just rub the wax and trying to get rid of every single scratch after i'm happy with it it's ready to be sent it for casting